at the height yeah. of your heroin abuse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You had a closet in your mm-hmm. house where you like to go in that closet and vomit. I like to go in the in the closet and do drugs because when you're, especially on cocaine, you're getting paranoid. Mm-hmm. You want to be in a confined place. So right. it became my little ritual place. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't vomit in the closet. I would somehow make it to the ah. bathroom. I see. But listen, here's the thing. Okay. Heroin makes you throw up. Right. Cocaine, when you inject it, makes you throw up. So you were injecting. I was injecting, I was smoking, wow. I was doing the whole... The whole and, and you were buying drugs in bulk. In other words, you were a smart drug addict, what I call a smart drug addict, because if you got the kind of money you do, why don't mm. you just buy a bunch of drugs so you have them there? Mm-hmm. Like a carton and, of cigarettes. You know, if right. you're a cigarette smoker, you get a carton when you go out. Yeah, why, be, right. why be so tied to your heroin that dealer every minute? you have to see minute? him every day. I mean, if you S- be saying into the- that you're a smart drug addict is kind of like kind saying of it's kind of like yeah. saying when someone said to me the other day they go you know you're the brains of motley crew <laughs> i was but like you know what i mean if you're going to be a drug addict you might as well have a supply so you're not constantly sure. chasing some deal dealers aren't the most reliable people in the world are they yeah you think yeah i mean they're tough to get a hold of <laughs> but you keep throwing up from these drugs you don't ever get used to them it, it just depends you know that the coke almost always makes you cute is that right look at this in your book i'm gonna read a couple of statements you gotta okay. you gotta you gotta comment on a this couple is of these the things. only place that i've done any type of press or anything where uh-huh. you can actually read my book listen to this <laughs> my new addiction is drinking tons of water right before i shoot coke then puking it all up in the jacuzzi as my head explodes into the stratosphere why not i'm engaged in a dance of death in this house wow um but you you would drink tons of water it's yeah. all about puking and doing drugs yeah well uh-huh. here's you know what I if, don't see if, where the enjoyment is in that statement. It, there's no enjoyment in addiction. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. It's like I try to talk to these kids about this, and I say there is no enjoyment. It's hell, because it, you're just trying to feel good. Yeah, you're just trying to nurture something that if you don't take care of it, you're going to feel like you're, you're, you're dying. Yeah. So that's the problem with addiction. You know, And if, mm. you, if you figure out what it is that's making you get into the addiction, it's easier to get out, out of, of the it. addiction, even it's, though the physical withdrawal of it is horrible and painful. When you would shoot heroin, you have to mix the heroin with water and boil it up and all that, right? China white water, Persian lemon. Okay. It's like a cooking show. <laughs> why, why then? You're standing in your house. You're a wealthy man. Uh-huh. You can take sink water and mix your heroin. Yeah. Why did you use toilet water, the water from a toilet, to mix your heroin with? Oh, because that was at a Denny's. You were at Denny's. I was driving to rehearsal on a motorcycle. This makes it worse. Oh, way, way worse. Because it's that water. It's got some pretty shit in that water. Exactly. You know, I mean, in that bowl. Here's, here's, Total strangers. Yeah. This, this is the deal. When you have to have something, you have to have it. You don't care. You'll go to any... But you could have used the sink water. Why the toilet water? Because I had to go in the... Stall. Stall. To, do your to put it in because otherwise, what if, like, you know, Grandma Molasses walks in and there's some guy sitting there shooting up? You didn't eat at Denny's. You just shoot up at Denny's, right? Well, who would eat at Denny's? Exactly. You had to worry about your health. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a second, Nikki. I don't understand one thing. Yeah. So you go there, you uh-huh. shoot up, you know, in the toilet and the toilet water and mm-hmm. all this kind mm-hmm. of stuff. But the fact of the matter is that. You really are trying to kill yourself. You technically died one time, you say, in the book. Yeah. I mean, here's the deal. I think that it had gotten so confusing, so insane in my head that I knew no other way. Sad. And, and it was really sad. And you had I'm, everything going for you. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, mm-hmm. one time you said you overdosed. Uh, a heroin dealer beat you with a bat to, mm-hmm. just to bring you back to life. Mm-hmm. The other time... Uh, what, you were hanging out with Slash and his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You overdosed. Mm-hmm. Slash's girlfriend brings you to the emergency room. You didn't know this. You wake up and you say there could be life after death because you saw the whole thing. You said you were. They said you were mm-hmm. technically dead. Mm-hmm. And you said you saw yourself laying in bed. You mm-hmm. saw the hospital room and you were above the room. Pre- so do you believe in life after pre- death? Pre- pretty pretty close. I mean, I, it's when I overdosed at the hotel. They put me on the gurney. I had a, you know, later I was like, God, it feels like I could see the whole thing. And mm-hmm. I blurted it out. I blurted it out on uh, behind the music. And I was like, why did I say that? I'm going to have to talk about this forever. Then when I found the diaries, I actually saw the entries where I was saying, I, I, I don't know what it was, but something, something, something happened. Mm-hmm. And that was really when I said, I got to clean up. And this is like out of control, whether... I hallucinated it or whether I saw it, but it was written down on a piece of paper. 
So that kind of freaked me out. Do I believe in life after death? You know, I'm not sure. <laughs>